Hello everyone and welcome back to Realism Overall Sandbox and Kerbal Space Program 1.8.1. In this video I present the KSLV-2 or also known as the Nuri rocket. Uh, this is a South Korean satellite launch vehicle and it can carry 2.6 tons to low earth orbit or 1.5 tons to sun synchronous orbit. Uh, keep in mind that from the South Korean launch site uh, they can only launch southward so basically this is all polar orbits. Uh, we've put a 2.6 ton payload inside and so that's what we have there, that's a dummy payload and otherwise I've made a payload adapter fairings uh, there's a three stages, third stage it actually is a lot of parts. Uh, this is a, a KRE-007 engine uh, it is kerosene oxygen uh, so they're all kerosene oxygen and it gets 325 seconds uh, ISP. Now when I say kerosene oxygen in this case uh, it is not RP-1, it's actually Jet A-1, uh, so it's Jet Kerosene. Basically, uh, you know, in Realism Overhaul, all our jet engines use kerosene as well, but those are actually a lower grade kerosene, technically speaking. So, uh, it doesn't get, uh, these engines don't get quite the same ISP as your normal uh, RP-1 uh, kerosene engines do, and potentially they could just switch to RP-1 to get a little bit better performance, maybe, I don't know. Uh, so yeah, also this stage is supposed to be white like the others, uh, so I don't know how it ended up a light gray. I'll review that. Uh, anyway, uh, the next stage is actually like this, and this is a KRE-075V vacuum. So if you saw my videos on how to uh, make a rocket engine in Blender, uh, it was the sea level one of this that I was making, and this is just an extended nozzle. Uh, also somewhat extended um, gas turbine pipe and it, it does have RCS on uh, just to control roll but they're very very weak so, uh, you know they're just to control roll uh, the third stage I also added RCS I don't know if they're supposed to have RCS uh, but I decided that, that would probably be a good thing and uh, down here we have the KRE-075s uh, again uh, that I made in that video well I didn't finish making it in that video I did some finishing touches and otherwise um, the stage masses I don't know the dry masses we know how much fuel they have because of what the burn times are we have the burn times and I know for sure that the uh, stages can carry this much fuel they have uh, the right volume uh, but I worked out the dry masses based on the fact that they said it was a 200 ton rocket so basically we've got a 200 ton rocket and uh, so if we've got a 2.6 ton payload uh, you take out the 2.6 tons it's exactly 200 tons that's what I made the rocket now that I get the mass distribution of the dry masses of the stages right uh, maybe maybe not uh, it's the most likely scenario is that the third stage is actually heavier than I think and uh, that would probably reduce our delta V by a bit so yeah, that's the most likely scenario. But let's see. Let's see what it does with the 2.6 tons uh, to low Earth orbit going polar, of course. Okay, so Realism overall, I mean, Real Solar System does come with uh, South Korean launch site, the narrow launch site that this is supposed to launch out from. So we're in the right location. Throttle up, SAS is on, ignition. And launch. Okay, as you can see, I've sort of fixed the plume. Uh, so heading, we'll just go 180. Uh, not 1,800. Um, okay, well it's over that that way. Is that's okay? I was worried it was gonna go over the launch center. Not quite, but pretty close. I think this is the better view since it's in daylight. There is a planned upgrade to the engines, uh, KRE-090. So it'll be 9 tons of thrust, oh, sorry, uh, 90 tons of thrust from the first stage engines. But I don't have the ISP stats for that, so I'll hold off. I'll, I can add it as a configuration to these engines. 
once we get more information. I didn't quite get the font right on the side of the rocket. The fonts I had were not quite the same as what they seem to have on the side of the, the rockets. I had a very stylized font that was very fancy, but this is basically the Korean equivalent of burial. As far as I know, they do not throttle, so none of the engines have throttling, and they all have one ignition. Uh, it's likely that the upper stage should have more than one. I'll probably add that in before I link the stuff in the video description. That's because Sun Synchronous Orbit requires more than one burn. Okay, separation and ignition. Okay, so we're on the second stage. And I guess we'll try to go to a uh, more polar orbit than we've got right now. Seems clear of little islands, that's good. Our current path. Okay, fairing set. Nice and clean. And I should have RCS on so that we're controlling roll. And the RCS is working. Uh, just uh, 40 units of hydrazine, but considering the use rate, that might even be too much. So they're just hydrazine thrusters. I didn't make anything fancy. The upper stage is a really long burning stage. It's a close to 70 kilonewton engine. Actually, 69. Um, uh, so, well, not that long burning. Uh, this KSP Interstellar messing up with the numbers here. It doesn't mess up with the performance, it's just... Uh, let's not talk about that. Anyway, so... It's about 8 minutes of burn time. 8 minutes and 18 seconds, so... We do need some time to wap wapses for it. Okay, separation and ignition. This has more full featured RCS. The second stage only has the spin thrusters, you know, to control roll. Uh, this can sell the fuel down if necessary. And I'll give this a total of three ignitions, actually, not just one, come to think of it, because of sun synchronous orbits. Unfortunately, the mod is bigger than I was originally intending. <laughs> I, I, I thought it was going to be a cute little rocket, but it's about 30 meg. So, a bit more than I wanted. Well, it looks whiter now. It looked light gray before, in context with the other stages, but now it looks lighter. I don't know. Maybe it was the shadow from the fairing? I don't know. I use the same base texture for all of them, which would make sense, of course. So, uh, they were explicitly trying to imitate the SpaceX pattern uh, with the kerosene oxygen engines. This is basically a larger Falcon 1, if you will. It's like Falcon 1 with uh, extra stage of four Merlins stuck at the bottom, more or less. So that's what we're talking about here. Performance of the engines is about the same as you'd expect from an early Merlin engine. Okay, we are approaching orbit here. Probably pitch down a little bit more. And shut down. 305 by 285 with a little bit left. But yeah, 2.6 tons to lower orbit into a polar orbit. Uh, seems to make sense and uh, we could assume that the 1.5 tons would follow uh, so yep and let's just check the payload adapter separation of the payload well we're controlling from here so it focuses on that but there goes the payload all right so I'll keep it short and sweet there it is uh, I'll link the this to the video description even though it's supposed to be part of the real rockets pack I'll release it separately for now and uh, please remember that if you get the real rockets pack later to delete this one otherwise you'll have the uh, two versions of the realism overall configuration sitting around you'll have one in this folder 
and one in the RO configuration. I know it's complicated, but uh, or you could just grab the RO configuration from inside the KSL V folder and put it into the um, the RO config folder from the made by the Real Rockets pack. Uh, so anyway, but yep, the Nuri Rocket folks. Um, if you want to find it in the VAB. And of course, remember that uh, this is all for realism overhaul. Um, I have no idea about the numbers I typed in for stock. I haven't tried it in stock, so. So typing KSLV gets you all the parts, uh, starting with the third stage and then the payload adapter. The fairings go on the third stage. You should see the attachment nodes. And then the KRE-007 on the third stage. And then the second to third stage inner stage, uh, the second stage, the KRE-075V, and then the first to second stage inner stage, the first stage, and then the KRE-075 times four, because they're all in a cluster of four. All right, so with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.